catch them all. What's going on guys, High Rise Games here, uh, back with another video, and today we're here and we're going to do a, a new series that we're starting on this channel, and it's basically, uh, as you know, all my content is free to use, make sure to check out all my other videos, uh, and I'll be doing uh, amusement park creation now, I did by uh, a bunch of people private DMing me on Twitter and stuff, there's a big high demand for me to start editing my videos a little bit more, uh, and my initial thought would be is to get a you new know, guest, person, but we also gotta look at the facts that it's more content for you to use. So this series is kind of like a good series where you know I could live stream it, you know, you know, do a collab with people, uh, like I have been. But you know, I've been. This series is gonna be a series where I edit a lot of my videos, and it's gonna be a lot of you know speed ups if it's a bunch of just placing blocks and no explaining what I'm doing or anything like that. So I guess that's, that's only essentials. All right, so I guess we got a bunch of mobs here. I um I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to difficulty peaceful, uh, and then wait for all these things to spawn. And then the animals we can take care of by not laying them into our amusement park. So I guess we can get started from here. Um, I'm just gonna mark this with some kind of you know block that stands out. I guess I know block stands out a decent amount. That's the spawn point for our um spawn point for our you know world. I can double check that. I can keep I can keep it myself. I also put keep invent on here. Uh, see if we can get some actually. There we go. I got a command box that we can do stuff. Alright, so I guess we can get started. So, um, first we gotta, before we do any of the technical stuff, first we gotta get some rails. And. Minecart. And. We can just, just throw this away. Get some, get just a stone for now. And obviously we need some kind of decoration block to the entrance in. Quartz and prismarine look very good with together, so we're gonna go. Well, actually, you know what? We might go purple with the. That could be our theme. Maybe also the prismarine. So we gotta go up and get the prismarine. Prismarine as well as the light prismarine. Uh, I, like, I like the prismarine bricks. Parking lot can be on uh, for the next episode, but for now, we gotta start with the. Alright, so I believe you should have an arc because that's most amazing parks have an arc. And usually you want heavy arc to be a, 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 an odd amount so it's a, you can get like one block at the top. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then go. So then we also want, you know, I might just get a chest and put all this stuff that, and that what I need at the uh, current project. Uh, I guess we get rid of the regular rail and throw this all, throw all this crap in that chest. And we only need these two for now. These white and, and some of the I think this will look the best. Uh, you can see it, it kind of looks more realistic than if you had like an oak fence. The oak fence kind of stands out a little bit more. Um, so I think the acacia fence is actually. Pretty good uh, for now. Um, so basically, so we're gonna do, we're gonna go boom. If you guys are watching the video, make sure to comment below what I call my amusement park. You guys can see uh, I get my uh, as I post on my Twitter and do the set set update video and stuff. Um, alright, looks like that. Um, as you can uh, I still have my cast on. I actually go for the appointment tomorrow. Uh, if I get off, if I get off and I don't get recasted or anything after the X-ray. I'll let you guys know um, in a in a video, uh, not like an update video post, but just kind of like a in a, in a casual uh, video, and then I'll my gameplay obviously a lot better. That's why I've been avoiding a lot of PVP uh, mini games and stuff. Like I mean, Bad Wars has been one thing, but you know uh, because it's very hard for me to uh, move my mouse around with it because I can I can still put my fingertips in the mouse. That's why I've been able to do, and that's why turning this on the um, controller. That's why I've been able to do games, but I've been avoiding. I've been trying to avoid those. PP quick mouse games and stuff. That's why I've been playing a lot of mellow, more strategy type games and such, and and more laid back, you know, stuff. So I think it's we'll, I think we'll go like that. That looks pretty good. And then we're gonna go white banner. 
so now we have to make these these look uh, make these look a little bit better by making maybe putting in a background block to them. Maybe just kind of like a so it looks like it maybe it's got a little bit of support and more more depth to it. Um, these dark prism blocks will give it that effect. You know, walking in, uh, you'll have that you know oak fence, and then you also can see the prism box through the fence. So you don't want it to be you don't want the arch just to be a block. So I think that'll look a teeny bit better. Yeah, I just I don't like these these corners sticking out as much. Um, that's that's another big thing. So what I might do actually is get some slabs and do this and, and replace these with slabs like. Not having essentials, uh, my single player's uh, world is pretty uh, bad, so I guess we gotta go set. Aha, there we go. I, was, I just mixed them up, set time day. Alright, there we go. We need a little bit, and what we need now is iron bars with some cobwebs mixed in there, type of thing, kind of make, give it a little bit of a, you know, defending. So see here, you can you get a preview, but you know how some like most amusement parks will have the uh, not iron bars obviously, but they'll have like the metal fencing around, and, and you know, but you know what they usually do sometimes too. So, uh, I might carry I might carry down, down the map and might carry this onto a multiplayer server if it comes down to it where I have to you know I really need world edit and stuff. So all right, so you need so. These, need some oak leaves. Some got some like they got some uh they got some like really really tight bushes in the front. Yeah. And but they're like it's not like. Like most bushes, obviously, are like frantic, but the bushes that they they have like really good landscaping crews and stuff, so they kind of have like really really tight. They have some like really really tight. Yeah, it's like really really. And then then it's kind of like this. And then it's iron bars. So it's kind of like, I'm, um, whoops, sorry. It's kind of like that in the front. Uh, obviously, you can kind of see in the entrance and stuff. Obviously, we'll make a parking lot and stuff. Um, I think this side will do birch instead of oak. Um, actually, no, let's keep, I think our parks will keep it the same. So let's just kind of, so we got to have a couple of, uh, as we, as I'm building here, I, I'll just kind of talk about what my plan was. So I kind of wrote stuff down, and I kind of made a plan for the uh, series. And basically, well, there's a couple, you know, I want to have, obviously have, but I also want to have, like, swings and stuff and make some, you know, different type of things. Obviously, you want to have uh, food establishments. I even made a couple, like, a couple full, you know, full chain restaurants in here, um, obviously. Um, you also have, like, a, a, one, you got a couple of coasters. One, you know, I got a, a couple of kitty roller coasters. You have a couple... Uh, you know, man, you know, a couple of adult roller coasters and a couple of teenage roller coasters and stuff. You have a couple, of, you have a lounging area, you have, uh, and I'm also, I'm also thinking of adding like a daycare type thing, so if, like parents want to, you know, ride a couple of rides or whatever, leave their kid there type of thing. I know, I know that's probably not happening in real life, but, you know, my grab, it's, it's kind of an extra thing to add to the park, you know, because you also have to subtract some things. You also have to subtract some things, such as, um, you know, you, have, you can't add, uh, you know, Loop de loops and roller coasters. You can't add. Um, you really can't add games. Uh, gaming games. Some of the games you can do with command blocks, I guess, or you know, some redstone stuff. But it's not really. You know, you really can't do that. Uh, maybe a petting zoo. That might be another option. Obviously, since you can have all these animals roaming around. You know, that's what, those types of things. Maybe a water slide. Obviously, other like water rides you can't add to the park. Um, that's looking pretty good so far. Um. So I get, we gotta make the out walkway. So basically, um, yeah, that's my plan. That was my plan. Uh, all right. So um, 
that's a start. It's gotta go a lot farther, obviously, but I just wanna get the pattern down. Like this, maybe. Four, five. Well, first I gotta figure out how wide it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so I can't. It's gonna come down. It's gonna come to a one. It's gonna come down to a two block stand. Um. All right. Uh. Go like this, maybe. And then just kind of repeat that. Also, just so you guys know, um, a lot of the uh, a lot of more videos coming out. I'm planning on doing a Watch Dogs 2 series. I'm doing my first game that I'm premiering on my Xbox One. I'm doing a Watch Dogs 2 campaign, 100% play game through. Uh, GTA is a work in progress as well. I'm planning for the GTA to do a full game through, uh, full one video, uh, depending on how long the uh, campaign takes, but full one one video of the entire thing. So that will take a while for me to edit. Um, that will be out uh, within the next couple of weeks, I would say. Watch Dogs will be out soon. I started the uh, campaign tonight, um, and I'll be uploading the videos in the next couple of days. And the entire and that will be a sort of like a sort of like the Detroit uh, playthrough that I had, where it was just every mission uh, is a different every mission is a different video. Um, you also have the I might depending on the lengths of the missions, I might as well I might do uh, combined missions in one as well. Um, I think Watch Dogs 2, uh, I mean, obviously GTA 5 is very, very good, but Watch Dogs 2 does very good uh, with their campaign, uh, since there's, you can also roam and stuff, but their campaign, it's the dude up our job of, um, transitioning into each mission, you know, type of thing, where it's like, you can go right into the next mission, it tells you exactly what to do, I mean, obviously you can choose what to do and you can roam around for a while, but it's, it does a better job transitioning, it's, it's more accessible, the mission, uh, mission descriptions and stuff. Alright, so, so, yeah, see, I think the purple bricks make it look a little bit better. Oh crap. I mean, I pressed my, I pressed my, I pressed my, my, uh, key down, so it was, I think the, yeah, I think the logo look a little bit more natural with the, uh, and I think it's it's gonna it's gonna be more of a, a kid geared, you know, a lot of kiddie rides, but also big roller coaster type amusement park. Obviously, most amusement parks are um, geared towards kids, just for the fact that parents don't ride them as much, right? But some amusement parks are, you know, it, it, it geared towards you know really older teens. This is gonna be more of a kiddie one, where it's like you know, you know, obviously there's gonna be a bunch of rides. There's gonna be a million rides and there's gonna be um, rides for. Uh, those kids, those kids at those ages, um, I, I'm off by one somewhere. Oh, that's why. Um, so it's gonna be kind of that. That's why you know you kind of have to have the vibrant colors of you know pink and you know bright purple and and it's and stuff like that. So all right, so I think that's looking pretty good so far. Obviously, you gotta fill it in, but you know that's kind of like the center of the walkway. That's long enough. Obviously, the parking lot could be over there. So I don't know. So look, we got we got test. What looks good? We got that. Um, it's just kind of you just you can't but you can plan by you know I, I you know I kind of created a world myself and just kind of with the colors. But you know when you when you look at the you know entire thing in general, you get you kind of get a better look at it. So you also have the sea lanterns that you can put, which I I'm probably gonna put in the middle of each, I and mean, light up stuff. But you also have the concrete type things. There's also some glazed terracotta you can put. Uh, but I think the uh, concrete is will look best. So, all right, uh, gotta match the kind of. You can't. You don't want to venture off too much color. Um, you can go with the magenta. You can go with the purple, and we get the cyan. Try all these ones. So you have that, but you also try that with that. Which that was pretty good actually. Ooh, oh no. Alright, well, obviously that looks really good, but. Uh, no. And yeah, the, the concrete kind of stands out. It's, it's a very, very good block for, you know, um, emphasis and stuff like that, so it's gonna. But, alright, so I think Prism Marine Bricks. 
uh, glowing like the prismarine. The uh, purple is kind of a build off of the prismarine, I believe, in the update and stuff. So I think that looks pretty. Good. So let's just kind of place it all there. So, and there we got the oil, we got the two right, two right there, and I think it looks pretty good, um, and then I think we'll fill this in, not with those, not, not, not with concrete, <laughs> um, I guess with the quartz, uh, they kind of match with the walls, but. Maybe chisels. I don't know, like a little bit. That make it make it a little bit more like a walkway type thing. So let's uh, fill this in, and yeah, you can kind of just walk in. It's kind of got like a yeah. It's kind of got that you know chiseled feeling and stuff. And I think that that chisel course looks really very good. You know, I think regular course would be kind of bland. It kind of matches because all these blocks have patterns to them. It kind of matches with the patterns. Um, all right. So I think that covers the walkway. I think the parking lot will be next episode. So I, I think we have to start, you know, mining some stuff around here. The entrance is looking pretty good. And, uh, yeah, so I think we'll have to start mining some, you know, get some grass out of here. And I think uh, what's also very good to have in the beginning of an entrance, too, is some kind of, like, see-through something. So you can see through and see some uh, pretty cool, you know, themes of your park, you know, create. So I might create either an aquarium or an underground aquarium here. Or maybe, you know, a kind of... Kind of underground viewing, um, very, very cool. They come in, they're very, they're already hooked. Even uh, also have to work on some advertising. Uh, that's also, it's kind of like a very confusing thing to work on. Um, you know, staff offices and stuff like that. So, so it's kind of like a cool thing to uh, look at when you walk in. Also, ticket booths are very important as well. That actually might be the end of the episode. Just working on some ticket booths and stuff like that. I think dirt behind it is fine. Um, I might modify that actually, because I don't think yeah, because dirt. Uh, yeah, I might I might put something behind it, kind of to cover it up, but also not you know completely like make the fish aquarium dark. So I think glowstone at the bottom will be our best option. It looks the best in water, so. Gotta make it even, so we gotta count of one. Oh, wait, it wasn't it twelve? It oh, it's fourteen, so we gotta do maybe every f two, I guess. I guess every other is fine. Um, yeah, because it's not it's not that much. To, it's kind of a little more. It stands out a little more chisel to it, but for an aquarium, you, you're gonna have flat sand in it anyways. Not you know, not beach sand like this is. So. Bedrock with the glass looks pretty good too. Uh, surrounding it, that'll look like it. Well, we'll get reinforced aquarium, which gives the sense of security to the. Uh, I'm just kind of thinking of you know amusement park that I've been to as well as you know what we what would be the best for business because obviously that's unfortunately the point of amusement park uh, is to make money for the owner. I I think we're at the places for stand unfortunately, which got taken. And I guess that I guess now it's pointless to replace this glass, but it's a. Okay, it'll be just be, it'll be a quick place. So all right, so I just I just placed all the glass down, and basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, place. Well, I've been thinking about it while I place the. Uh, I think it's some kind of you know cyan, maybe cyan wool or something. You know, something a little bit water colored. Maybe I was thinking a little bit some maybe some kind of prismarine. Maybe something like this that might work actually uh, behind all this. So it's still a light enough to enjoy the aquarium, not like a dark aquarium or anything. Um, but also it's not see-through dirt, you know, aquarium type of thing where it's, you know, it looks crappy and stuff, so. So we'll just place it all around, nice quick place. Uh, place the second layer. And then on the inside, I will place the glass. 
I don't, I don't want to do any developing, like choosing blocks and stuff like that without you guys. So I might, do, I'm probably not gonna do much off camera work. If, if it's a big placing job, like rails uh, in the future, you know, just a bunch of rails, bunch of redstone, I might just do the off camera. It's a lot easier for you guys to enjoy the series when it's not just a bunch of, you know, cuts to a building. But you know, in the, especially in the first episode, you wanna, you know, make sure the viewer knows the setting of the, uh, the recordings. And then we're going to place, I think flat like this I would that'd probably be the best maybe um just kind of all right the outside looks pretty good all right perfect all right next thing is to spawn fish in there and make sure they don't despawn if they do despawn oh well let's um I guess we can replenish it well let's, let's make a uh entrance uh going in from here uh i'll wait that next episode to kind of because when i start developing the infrastructure of the uh, uh amusement park next episode take a boost you know staff offices stuff like that um i can start making tunnels to places to get ex uh, access them you know without breaking the actual blocks because you know you know in a amusement park when you want to access an, you know like an aquarium or a petting zoo or something you know ride on a ride you know you know you don't Take a pickaxe and break this the concrete. You go underground and build tunnels. So I think this will do. We'll go spawn and let's see what kind of fish we have. I think we we took a fish. All right, so we got a tropical fish. I still put in there. Maybe a couple puffer fish. And I think then we have a shark, a shard. That's all. All right. So spawn. Maybe a couple squid as well. We have that. So we have. Mm -hmm. Yes, turtle, salmon. I mean, it, it's it's a you gotta make sure fresh water, fresh and soft water fish. But this is Minecraft. It's okay. I mean, obviously, I try and make this as realistic as possible. But sometimes when you can't get the you know every single fish in the world, you kind of have to improvise. So, puffer fish, and let's hit it. Let's see what happens. Pop up, buddy. This is got maybe one, maybe a couple more puffer fish. We got a bunch, a lot of tropical fish. That's definitely for sure. A lot of tropical fish. Maybe two or three turtles. Um. Uh, as the little tiny turtles. This is like this is a little bit overstacked in an aquarium, but it's okay. It's one. So let's kind of boom. Kids go over. They see an underground aquarium. That looks good. You got a little prismarine there, so it doesn't look any crappier with dirt or anything. Got the walkway in, and I think we're, we're starting pretty good so far. Um, obviously, we're probably gonna have to replace this uh, row, row of dirt, which I'll probably do right now, actually. Place it with maybe some uh, prismarine. Uh, make it, you know, keep the theme. Go around like this, uh, and get rid of this. And I think that's a good place to, you know, Alright, so obviously the ticket, the ticket booth has to be somewhere in between the park entrance and the parking lot. Because you obviously can't get into the park, it's open entrance without a ticket. Um, so let's... Now we're looking pretty good. You can kind It kind of blends in with the prismarine here. So you don't, you don't really see it until you see the glass. And you're like, oh what is this? Oh, we got a bunch of aquarium, a bunch of salmon, and turtles in the same environment. Um, I'm probably got the fences around the entire thing with iron bars just so you don't get any stupid animals uh, hanging around there. Uh, I, I might actually might be able to remove all entities or you know get rid of something. I'll figure out the command over there. All right, so let's get going. Um, I think maybe at the beginning of the entrances, maybe I th they don't, they, don't, you can't, they don't have to be too big. So maybe like a three by three in size, so like a five by five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Three. Kind of like that, maybe type of thing where it's like where it's like it's kind of like that. Um, just kind of in the obviously is right there. Two ticket booths here, um, and then maybe it's kind of like I can't. I obviously you can't make like you know, you know like you know like some of these parts they have like those bars. It's like a there's three bars and they spin around every time someone walks through them, type of thing. Um, 
So it's like, alright, so, you know what, I'm just gonna, obviously five, you know, three by three inside, uh, six, two, four, break that, all that. Alright, like that. And I think that's a good place to put the ticket boost. But I think it's a good place to call it quits. Um, I can yeah, take a bunch of stuff out of this chest later. Uh, next episode will start. Obviously, start, you know, building some ticket offices, staff offices. Third episode will, de will definitely start getting into some rides. Uh, we don't want to keep you waiting too long with the rides. Um, yeah, so, let me, uh, this looks pretty good. I think here we should have, it's, that's the last thing I looked at when I, when I went out there. It was kind of like, this was kind of missing something, so I think we should put pillars here. Um, I think fence connecting looks more realistic. So, that looks better. Obviously, we put a pillar here. Alright, that looks a lot better. Alright, so what do you guys think? Make any comments uh, on the uh, entrance of the park so far. Um, yeah, so I think it looks pretty good. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, first episode. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment uh, any suggestions you have. For future amusement park ideas uh, for, this, for the uh, single player survival, uh, if you would uh, request, uh, if you want to me to make a downloadable map, uh, so you guys can even show me your own ideas, type of thing. Where it's, you know, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all in episode two. Peace.